The story I've chosen today has lots of lovely letters to read to lots of familiar characters you might know from other stories. The story I've chosen today is The Jolly Postman and it's by one of our house authors again, Janet and Alan Alberg. Once upon a bicycle, so they say, a jolly postman came by one day from over hills and far away with a letter for the three bears. If we look at the envelope, it says, Mr and Mrs Bear, Three Bears Cottage, the woods, and the letter is from Goldilocks. Dear Mr and Mrs Bear and Baby Bear, I'm very sorry indeed that I came into your house and ate Baby Bear's porridge. Mummy says I'm a bad girl. I hardly eat any porridge when she cooks it and she says Daddy says he will mend the little chair. Love from Goldilocks. P.S. Baby Bear can come to my party if he likes. There will be three kinds of jelly and a conjurer. So the bears read the letter, except Baby Bear, and the postman drank his tea. And what happens next we'll very soon see. Off went the postman, toodaloo, in his uniform of postal blue, to a gingerbread cottage and a garage too, with a letter for the wicked witch. The occupier, gingerbread bungalow, the woods. Open now, don't delay, this could be your lucky day. And inside, we've got lots of spells, fantastic magic witchy spells. So, the witch read the letter with a cackle of glee, while the postman read the paper but left his tea. It was green. Soon, the jolly postman, we hear tell, stopped at the door with a giant bell and a giant bottle of milk as well, with a postcard for... Guess who? Hmm, who would have a high up doorbell and a big bottle of milk? Mr V Big, Mile High House. Beanstalk Gardens and that's come by airmail and it's a postcard it's a postcard to dear giant big having a nice time me my mum and your hen what lays the golden eggs it's better than travellers checks saw a bloke as we was flying down he was bigger than you I've took note of his address take care of yourself and your talking harp I'll be back for that one of these days I shouldn't wonder Bye for now, your very little pal, Jack. I wonder if that's Jack from Jack and the Beanstalk. So the giant read the postcard with baby on his knee and the postman went, wet his whistle with a thimble of tea. Once more on his bicycle, the postman rode to a beautiful palace, so we've been told, where nightingales sang and a sign said sold with a letter for Cinderella. There's a surprise. H-R-H, that means Her Royal Highness Cinderella, the Palace, Half Kingdom Road. Let's read. Dear Princess, we at the Piper Press hope soon to publish a little book for young readers in celebration of your recent marriage to His Royal Highness Prince Charming. A copy of this book is enclosed for your approval. We trust this somewhat shortened version of Your Highness's most marvellous tale will not displease you. We also trust that you will be comfortable in your new home and live happily ever after. Your humble servant and loyal subject to be, Peter Piper. Fancy that. So, Cinder's read her little book. The postman drank champagne, then wobbled off on his round again, and again, and again, whoops. Later on, the postman, feeling hot, came upon a grandma in a shady spot. But grandma, what big teeth you've got. Besides, this letter is for you. Oh, who's it addressed to? B. B. Wolf, Esquire, care of grandma's cottage, Corner's Corner. Let's see what's inside. It says, Dear Mr Wolf, we are writing to you on behalf of our client, Miss Riding Hood. Concerning
her grandma. Miss Hood tells us that you are presently occupying her grandma's cottage and wearing her grandma's clothes without this lady's permission. Please understand that if this harassment does not cease, we will call in the official woodcutter and if necessary, all the king's horses and all the king's men. On a separate matter, we must inform you that Mrs Three Little Pigs Limited are now firmly resolved to sue for damages. Your offer of shares in a turnip or apple picking business is declined and all this huffing and puffing will get you nowhere. Yours sincerely, Harold Meany. Oh, that sounds like a very important letter that he was delivering. Do you think the wolf's happy to receive it? So Grandma read the letter and poured the tea, which the not so jolly postman drank nervously. Now the jolly postman, nearly done, so is the story, came to a house where a party had begun. On the step was a bear with a bun, but the letter was for Goldilocks. Hmm. It says, to Goldilocks, 24 Blackbird Road, Banbury Cross. Oh, and it's a birthday card for Goldilocks. How special, because today Goldilocks is eight years old. So Goldilocks put the pound note in the pocket of her frock and the postman joined the party and they all played postman's knock. Once upon a bicycle, so they say, a jolly postman came one day from over the hills and far away and went home in the evening for tea. The end.